is the cross-sectional anatomy of the forearm. Please note, uh, this is the schematic drawing, and some muscles uh, position can differ in real life depending on the cross-section level. This is a picture of the true cross-section. As you see, it's very difficult to uh, uh, draw. It kind of looks like the gusto face, really. So to make this easier, let's draw this as schematic. So first draw a big circle, and within that circle, draw two small circles. Label these, the radius and the ulna. Then split this into three sections, anterior and posterior, and the mobile wad. Next split the anterior and posterior into superficial and deep. Now split all these compartments into three, apart from the anterior superficial, which is four. First fill in your mobile wad, that's brachial radialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, and extensor carpi radialis brevis. As per Henry approach, put FCR next to brachial radialis. If you have an FCR, you have an FCU. If you have an FCU, you have an ECU. Next, fill in the superficial anterior pulmonaris longus and flexor digitorum superficialis. Underneath superficialis, you'll have profundus. In the anterior deep compartment, place in flexor pollicis longus. And therefore, you remember extensor pollicis longus and abductor pollicis longus. Around the radius, you have pronator teres and supinator. To finish the posterior superficial compartment, place extensor digitorum minimi and extensor digitorum communis. Now let's place the nerves. Under part of Morris longus, you'll find the median nerve. The median nerve supplies a lot of muscles in the hand and forearm. In the forearm, the nerve supplies pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, Morris longus, flexor digitorum superficialis, in the hand, thena muscles, and the lateral two lumbricals. The radial nerve is found underneath brachial radialis. This nerve supplies the mobile ward muscles before it enters the supinated canal. The deep radial nerve then continues with the posteriorosseous nerve, which supplies the muscle of the posterior forearm. The ulnar nerve is underneath the flexor digitorum superficialis, or under FCU. The ulnar nerve uh, supplies a number of uh, muscles in the forearm, the flexor carpi ulnaris and the middle half of the flexor digitorum profundus. In the hand, it supplies all the ulnar aspect of the small muscles of the hand. The anterior interosseous nerve is drawn on the anterior aspect of the interosseous membrane. This supplies in the forearm, flexor pollicis longus, pronator quadratus, and the lateral half of flexor digitorum profundus. Posterior interosseous nerve is drawn in supinator. Now moving on to the arteries. The ulnar artery is drawn with the ulnar nerve, as seen here. And the radial artery is drawn with the radial nerve, as seen here. Using this cross-section diagram to appreciate the approaches, Henry approach is the interval between FCR and brachial radialis. As seen. Thompson approach is the dorsal approach to the radius, and this is in between the mobile wad and the muscles of the dorsum of the radius. PIN is at risk during this approach. The ulna can be approached in between FCU and ECU. 